Our next speaker is going to be Lord Hunter from Housing Workers. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you doing today? Okay, I want those people back there to hear me too. That's who I represent. I'm proud to represent my community. Today, I'm especially proud to represent my culture. June is a month where many in the LGB LGBT community celebrate pride. There are many events, parties, and parades to choose, from the Bronx and Staten Island to Long Island. For the past three years, I, along with countless others, have chose to march in solidarity with trans justice to honor the journey and struggle of transgender individuals and gender nonconforming individuals, and to march for freedom and equality. On Friday, June 22nd, we will march again in solidarity against the many systems of oppression that threaten the livelihood of transgender and gender nonconforming individuals. We live in a time when we see people of color, immigrants, and folks living in poverty, disproportionately underserved, facing discrimination, under heightened surveillance, and experiencing increased violence and abuse at the hands of the state. Transgender individuals continue to face discrimination and endless harassment when accessing city agencies like Human Resources Administration and the Department of Homeless Services. Many transgender women are forced to endure street-based sex work due to discrimination finding a job. Many transgender and gender non-conforming individuals are forced to use black market hormones. Some even go without much needed physical and mental health care due to lack of knowledgeable providers, a competent health care system, and complete access to Medicaid. Many transgender youth have to sleep on the street or other unsafe conditions rather than experience the horror of sexual harassment, abuse, violence, and discrimination in our city shelters. Bloomberg, wake up! It is time for Mayor Bloomberg to hold Commissioner Raymond Kelly accountable for the many rogue police officers who use their badges as carte blanche yeah. to come into our communities, harass transgender women in the village, racially profiling our black men in Brooklyn, and treating us all as second-class citizens. It's time for the Bloomberg administration, along with the rest of this city, to realize that transgender and gender non-conforming individuals are voters, we are taxpayers, we are doctors, lawyers, we are mothers, fathers, activists, we mobilize, we stand up, we speak out, we march. Most importantly, we will not continue to accept the status quo. This Friday at 4.30, we will take to the streets of Manhattan, harnessing the energy, the passion, the blood, sweat, and tears of the Stonewall Rebellion, embracing our pride and demanding justice. We don't want handouts. No, those days are over. We don't want concessions. Save that for the stands. It is time for transgender and non-gender conforming individuals to rise up and take our place at the table of life and enjoy its bounty. It's time, take your place. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Lord Hunter. Lord Hunter, I'm all hyped.